Now I'm going to talk about the application of eddy current. The first important application of eddy current is deadbeat galvanometer or electromagnetic damping. So when the current is passed through a galvanometer, the coil oscillates about its mean position before it comes to rest. Though to bring the coil back to rest immediately, the coil is wounded on a metallic frame. Now, when the coil oscillates, the eddy current is set up in the metallic frame which opposes further oscillation of the coil to try to stop it. Thus, in turn, enables the coil to attain its equilibrium position almost instantly. You are able to see once the coils are rotating in the magnetic field, the eddy current is created here. Since the oscillation of coil dies out instantly, the galvanometer is called as a deadbeat galvanometer. The next application of eddy current is used in induction furnace. In an induction furnace, high temperature is produced by the eddy current creator. The material to be melted is placed in a varying magnetic field of high frequency and a strong eddy current is developed inside the metal. Due to the heating effect of the current, the metal start melting. The next important application of eddy current is induction motor. The eddy current are produced in a metallic cylinder called rotor. When it is placed in a rotating magnetic field, you are able to see the rotor with the magnetic field here. The eddy current initially tries to decrease the relative motion between the cylinder and the rotating magnetic field. As the magnetic field continues to rotate, the metallic cylinder is set into rotation. You are able to see this kind of induction motors are used in fans. So the application of eddy current involves the electromagnetic brakes. A metallic drum is coupled to the wheels of a train. The drum rotates along with the wheel when the train is in motion. When the brake is applied, when the brake is applied, a strong magnetic field, a strong magnetic field is developed, hence eddy current are produced in the drum, which opposes the motion of the drum, hence the train comes to rest. You are able to see the eddy current produced in the drum. The eddy current is used in speedometer too. In a speedometer, a magnet rotates according to the speed of the vehicle. The magnet inside rotates inside an aluminium cylinder, which is held in a position with the help of a hair springs. Eddy current are produced in the drum due to the rotation of the magnet and it opposes the motion of the Rotating magnet. So the drum in turn experiences a torque and gets deflected through a certain angle depending on the speed of the vehicle. A pointer attached to the drum moves over a calibrated scale which indicates the speed of the vehicle. This is a pointer. So a spring and you got your speedometer cable, dry shaft and the magnet here. And it's also used in the electrical power meters in houses. You are able to see the shiny metal disc in the electrical power meter. It's an analog type. I'm talking about the analog type. This one is a digital type. So rotate is due to the eddy current. The electrical currents are induced in the disc by magnetic fields produced by sinusoidally varying currents in a coil. You are able to observe the rotating shiny disc in the power meter of your house. This is working under the principle of eddy current.